Hey, what's up? It's your old pal, Mr. Cook, and we're working on Unit 6 Test Review. We just did the first page where it's a lot of uh, just rewriting the expressions using the log properties and, um, and also the conversion from log to exponent. Um, when we move on to the next page, it's all about solving. And uh, the neat thing about this whole page is um, this first section, like basically number 19, all the way through looks like number 30. So 19 through 30. The only thing that we need to really do for this, like when we need to change anything up, is when we need to use our log conversion again. So again, it's just the log base a of y equals x can be rewritten as, a, as an exponent to look like this. a to the x is equal to y. So we're gonna use this like over and over again from number 19 all the way down to number 30. All of these have to do with solving. Um, when you get down to the logarithms, you just need to check for extraneous solutions. We'll talk about that uh, when we get to it, but we're just you know, basically doing this right here. So um, you know to use the conversion from log to exponent when you have one of two situations. You either have a log that's equal to some number, or if you have an exponent that's equal to some number. When this is the case, you know that you can just convert them and solve for whatever variable that you need. See like uh, number 19, for example, we have an exponent, that's this thing, equal to a number. Since an exponent equals some number, I can convert it to a log to make it real easily uh, to solve for the power up here. So if I rewrite this as a log, I get log with a base of six of the number one is equal to three B minus one. Um, so log base six of one, uh, you can use your calculator to solve that. Uh, but it's just going to be zero. Let me show you. So log of six, or I'm sorry, log of one divided by log of six. And so you'll get zero as your answer. So this just turns into zero. And then zero equals three B minus one. And that's really, really easy to solve for the B value. Just add one to both sides. So you get one is equal to three B. Then divide both sides by three. So you get B is equal to one over three. And that's your answer. It's just as easy as that. You know, just converting to an exponent and then, uh, I'm sorry, converting to a log and then solving. Number 20 is actually really easy too. Uh, it's not quite the same thing as this one, exponent equals a number, but you can turn it into that if you want. Um, it actually sets it up quite a bit easier. If you have an exponent equal to an exponent, as long as the bases are the same, then you know that the powers are the same. So that means that I can just set the power, m minus one equal to two, and then solve for m. So to get m by itself, I just add one to both sides and I get m equals three. And that's my answer, m equals three. All right, so uh, for number 21, I've got an exponent equals a power, so I can turn it into a log really easily. So if I rewrite it as log log with a base of four of the number 64 is equal to negative n. So I can type that into my calculator, log 64 divided by log four, and I get three. So three is equal to negative n. So if I just multiply both sides by negative one, I end up with my answer. n is equal to negative three. So there's my solution for that one. For number 22, I've got a an exponent equals a number, so I can turn it into a log. So I get log with a base of three of the number one is equal to three minus b. Once again, this turns into zero, so zero equals three minus b. And I'm gonna add b to both sides, so I get b is equal to three. And that's my solution, b equals three. So see how fast we got those done? All we had to do is just know to convert from an exponent into a log when it's an exponent equals a number. That's you know what you end up doing. So for these next ones, uh, when it says to solve the equation and they're you know it's using exponents, so you have an exponent here, have an exponent here, and an exponent here, an exponent here. It's the same exact problems. The only difference is that you got all this other crap around it. You know, like around this exponent, you're adding six. So the way to solve these, you know, I don't think it's any secret. All you need to do is just get the exponent by itself and then assess the situation. So if I've got this exponent plus six equals 41, I just need to get the exponent by itself. So I subtract six from both sides. So if I subtract six from both sides, I get 12 to the power of x plus three is equal to 41 minus six is 35. So now it's an exponent equal to a number, just like what I had up here. So all I need to do is turn it into a log. So log base 12 of 35, and that's equal to my power, x plus three. 
So I can type that into my calculator, log 35 divided by log 12, and I get that decimal answer. So 1.43078, and that's equal to x plus 3. So to get x by itself, I need to subtract 3 then. So if I just subtract 3 from this, so minus 3, I get my answer negative. Oops. Dang it. There you go. Negative 1.569. Because that, oh, and then 10,000. So I got to go one more, two. There we go. Because that's the four decimal places. That's what we're asked to round it to for these ones. But, you know, it, it actually isn't any different for the rest of these problems. For number 23 through 26, you seem to get the exponent by itself, turn it into a log, and then solve. So for number 24, to get this exponent by itself, I have this pesky times 10. How do you get rid of times 10? How do you get rid of multiply by 10? You have to divide both sides by 10. So if I divide this by 10 and divide this by 10, this goes away. So I just have 20 to the power of v plus 3 is equal to 14 divided by 10, which is 1.4. Now from here, all I have to do is turn it into a log. So I've got log base 20 of 1.4, and that's equal to v plus 3. So this is just going to be some number, and then some number is equal to v plus 3. So how do I get the v all by itself? I have to subtract 3 from both sides. So that means that my v value can be found by taking the log, so doing log of the big number, 1.4, dividing by log of the base, so divide by log of 20, so whatever that number is, and then to get v by itself, subtract 3, so minus 3, and I get my answer, negative 2.887, and then I round it to the next one, so that's 7. So there's my answer, round to the 10,000th place. All right, number 25 is next, and again, it's just get the exponent by itself, turn it into a log. So to get the exponent by itself, I need to get rid of that plus 3. So how do you get rid of plus 3? to subtract 3. So if I subtract 3 from both sides, I get 79. So that means that 2 to the power of negative 4b is equal to 79. And now I rewrite it as a log. So I get log base 2 of 79 is equal to negative 4b. And then I, I'm eventually going to need to get that b by itself. So how do I get rid of that times negative 4? I have to divide by negative 4. So I take this number, get it on my calculator. So let's see, log 79 divided by log of 2, that gives me this number. And then I need to get b by itself, so I divide both sides by negative 4. So then divided by negative 4, and I get my answer. So my answer for b is about negative 1.5759. So that's the four decimal places. And this one's all done. And then let's see, let's go to number 26. So for number 26, I need to get rid of that times 10. So I divide both sides by 10, and I get 4 to the power of 10b is equal to, and then 68 divided by 10 is 6.8. So once again, I just rewrite this as a log. So I get log base 4 of 6.8, and that's equal to my exponent power, which is 10b. So this is just a number. I can type it into my calculator. But then I need to get b by itself. So how do I get rid of 10 times b? I need to divide by 10. So I'm going to divide by 10 in a little bit after I find this on my calculator. So let's get that first. Log of 6.8, and then divide that by log of 4. So we get that number, 1.3827 something. And then to get b by itself, I need to divide by 10. So divide by 10. And you get b is equal to 1, I, I'm sorry, point 1.383. So 13.83, there we go. So there's our last um, solving problem in this group. Now we go on to the next group of problems, which is the logarithms. And um, for those ones, I think I'm going to uh, hold off till the next video. Because, uh, you know, this is a nice little break because we just did a bunch of exponents. And the logs are going to be a little bit different when we work on them. Okay, so that's it for this video. On to the next one.